Hey everyone, it's Lisa Spangler with a video for Studio Calico. Today I'm going to be sharing how to make this card that uses the stamps and embellishments that come in the December Coal add-on kit. I just love this kit so much. And I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks for inking your stamps too, both with um, different kinds of ink, this Distress Ink and the Shadow Midtone Ink from Hero Arts. So, but first I wanted to share some stamping tips for using long, narrow um, stamps like this snowbank that comes in the set. Um, you can bend these stamps like so, and then you can have a curve. This is kind of handy if you have a message and you want to curve it around, say, a circle or something. But if you want the stamp to stay the same shape as how it was manufactured, you place it on your table and then mount your acrylic block to it instead of putting it on the stamp with your hands. Um, this is really great if you want to keep a message straight. Then you just go ahead and ink it up and stamp away. Next, I wanted to talk a little bit about these Hero Arts' Shadow Midtone inks. Um, these are great if you have a solid stamp like this tree. And I wanted to share a trick for inking it up. So you want to start by inking first in one direction like this. And then I like to turn my stamp and then ink it some more this way. And what this does is it really helps get the ink so that it covers the whole surface. Um, this ink pad has like a felted top and it has little lines in it. So if you don't do this, sometimes the lines will show up. Then you just give it a good press and there you have it. Now this ink will start out looking kind of blotchy, but then as it seeps into the paper, it will dry. Here I just stamped it on some thin copy paper. It looks even better when you stamp it on cardstock. I hope you can see that, how it kept all the detail. Now I wanted to share um, the Distress ink. These inks are really special in that they react with water. Um, so we're going to be using a water mist bottle and the other thing is these inks are really great for techniques um, like the one I'm going to show you, but they're not so great for messages. Um, so the, for this technique, I'm going to be using two colors and I'm starting with the lightest one first. This is Evergreen Bow. Then I'm going to take a darker green. This one's called Mo Lawn and I'm going to put it right over top. Um, next, I'm going to take a brown water-based marker. This one is Memento, but you can use the coordinating distress markers too, just so long as it's water-based. Then I'm going to take the water mist and just give it a good spritz, um, probably like five or six spritzes. You can do more if you want it to be blotchy. Um, I hope you can see that there. there. There you go. You can see it has little droplets on there. And then when you stamp it, it gives a really neat effect where the colors all mix and mingle and kind of blend together. Um, here it looks like I didn't get enough ink in the center, but I'll show you this again. So I'm folding that piece of paper that I stamped with the trees on and I'm putting it underneath here so you'll be able to see because it's kind of hard to see against the black um, grid. But once again, I'm starting with the lightest color. This is the evergreen bow. And there you see that. And next I'm going to take that mow lawn and put it right over top. And you don't have to worry about these ink pads contaminating each other unless you like are stamping this a bunch of times and you don't clean it off in between. So now I have the ink all on there and the marker and I'm giving it a good spritz again. And this time, there I got even more water. So this will like really look kind of cool. And you can play with how much water um, that you use. And here I'm showing you another little trick. I'm going to use a post-it note to mask off um, the bottom part of the hill so that when I stamp the tree, the trunk isn't as long because I wanted it to be kind of closer to the hill. So just giving it a good press here. And I should say that the longer you let the colors sit on your stamp before you stamp it, the more they kind of blend together. So here it looks really green. You can hardly see any of that evergreen bough left. But here's my finished card again. 
and you can see how the colors kind of blend together and they give it that really kind of grungy kind of fun look and then to finish off I just stamp the little people in charcoal midtone ink you can see how smooth um, that is and then I added these fun snowballs that are also in the coal add-on kit so thanks so much for joining me today and I hope these tips and tricks help you bye